Hi guys, you're welcome to this amazing session. So um, this session is so, so sweet. Uh, I love this session. I don't know why. If you guys will be the judge after you have listened. Um, in this session, we're going to be talking about branding on Instagram. You're welcome. My name is Mandy Rachel, your favorite girl. So we're talking about branding on Instagram. I don't know. I love this session because um, branding is like, okay, everybody say branding. I have my logo. If you ask someone, what is branding to you? The person will tell you um, branding is logo. Like I have my logo. When you, I don't know why people always think the synonym of branding is logo. I don't know. But most people, I don't know why. So guys, let's get to it. We're going to be talking about branding on Instagram. Branding as related to your Instagram page, your Instagram business, and all of that. So, branding on Instagram is very, very, very important. As in, let me say it again. Branding on Instagram is very, very, as a matter of fact, extremely important if you wish to make a long lasting impression on your audience or on your followers. So it is extremely important that you pay very close attention to your branding and, you know, really just take your branding seriously. If you wish to make a long lasting impression on your audience or on your followers on Instagram, right? Now, branding is a marketing practice of creating a name, a symbol, or a logo design that identifies and differentiates you from others. So when we come across anything that has to do with your business, even when you're not physically present there, we should be able to say, oh, it is this person i hope i'm making sense i hope i'm communicating so on instagram branding relates to your username your profile picture or display picture your bio your highlights the highlights covers and all of that your story your caption your fonts the the fonts that you use in your in your designs and everything your posts and your page right so on instagram your branding on instagram relates to all of these things that i just listed right so even up until um the color the color that you decide to use for your for your instagram right that's the one that you use more dominantly or or your brand colors like we call it it is very very important those are those are what branding is for you on Instagram. Now, that is why it is important to have a short and memorable username, right? It is very, very important on Instagram to have a short and memorable username for the sake of branding, right? Just for branding, branding purposes. Do you know why? I'll tell you guys why. You see... The brand is created by the user. I think I made mention of this in the last in one of the sessions previously. The brand is 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 being created by the user, right? And you want you don't want to stress them because there are a lot of things out there, a lot of brands out there, a lot of people out there. They simply move on to the easy one. People love it. People love an easy life, right? So when your branding is too complicated or your brand name for example, is too long, we can't even memorize it. We can't even remember the spelling. We can't even cram it in our mind, in our head, and all of that. It makes it a lot more easy for, uh, sorry, difficult for your branding to actually work on Instagram, right? So it is very important to have a short and memorable username with less full stops. Do you understand? With less full stops and underscores and hyphen or whatever. Like if it is even possible for you to have your username without any full stop, without underscore, slant, slash, and all of that. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, right? But if you can't avoid it, maybe 
the word, the name you're planning to use. Somebody else already used it, and there's no way you can go about it without adding full stop to your own or without adding underscore. Don't make it much. Just let it be minimal because a lot of um, scam pages on Instagram, they have so many full stop and underscore in their username, right? So very, very, very important. So another reason why you need to have your username short is because, um, or with less underscores and less full stop is because sometimes Instagram will not show your post to all of your followers. Wait, what am I saying? Sometimes it's not even sometimes safe because, um, as a matter of fact, if what we hear about the Instagram algorithm is true, then oftentimes, as a matter of fact, if not all the time, Instagram will only show your posts to about 10% of your followers. Now, that's crazy, right? So that means if you have 500 followers, for example, Instagram will show to 50 people. If you have 5,000 followers, Instagram will show to 500 people, right? So that's why people are really so like, I want to have a lot of followers so that you increase the the reach rate for you for your post to get seen right so if this is um if this is true which is really really low right you agree with me that it's very low now depending on how you have made your followers or customers feel right because branding is that feeling that you give to your customers or that you give to your followers now depending on how you have made them feel right? Depending on, you know, depending on how maybe you've been getting your branding right, depending on how you have made them feel. They may want to come and check your page after missing your post for a while. Maybe for some days, they've not seen your, your post on their timeline and they're wondering, ah, oh, that babe that used to speak pigeon that year, that babe, ah, oh, that guy, ah, oh, that girl, ah, oh, that brand that sells really nice, um, slip-ons. It's been a while I saw, I saw their post. What's happening? Do you understand what I'm saying? Depending on how you have made them feel, it gets to a point, maybe Instagram has not been showing them your post or they've not always been online when Instagram sends your post to their timeline and they miss it. Maybe they have lots of following and all of that. And then they start like, ah, this person, this person. They may want to check your page after missing your post for a while. They may want to just come and search for you. Do you understand? They just want to come and say, I, I need to see this person's post today and I need slippers. So, ah, Jesus. And this babe that used to post these fine, fine things on, on Insta, I've not been seen. Let me, go and, let me go and search for her. Do you understand? Now, instead of them going through all their followers' list because they know they are following you, but it's stressful now, especially if they have a lot of followers. They, they want to kukuma use the search option to just search you out, right? And then they want to search for you. They cannot remember your name. Because your, your username is too long. For goodness sake, you see some people's username, you wonder if they want to. I don't understand. Maybe I don't just understand what they are looking for. They can't remember. It's too long. It's not memorable. They can't remember your username. Because it is too long and they cannot memorize it. And they are not cracking their brain like, ah, 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 could it be this? Could it be that? In the process of could it be, could it be, they will just see another one that, ah, this one is not bad. Though. They just buy from the person. So I hope you guys are getting what I'm, what I'm trying to explain. Do you understand? So it needs to be short, if possible, reduce all of the full stop comma and everything in there, right? Now this leads me to your profile name. What this means is that your profile name must be optimized and searchable, so that at least, at least, if they cannot remember your username and they can't find you. When they type what you are doing or what you sell or the services you render in the Instagram search bar, your page will pop out. Do you understand? Because for the, for the fact that they are following you, when they, want, when they are trying to search for things related to what you do, your, your, your page has um, preference, right? Your, your page will get a preferential treatment, so that means your page will be up. Do you understand what I'm saying? So... Let's say you're selling slippers, you're selling shoe, you're selling bag, you're selling weave on, you're selling wig or something like that or whatever it is that you do. Is your, is your, is your name, your profile name, opt, is it search optimized? When they now search shoes or whatever on the search bar, will your page come out? Do you understand? So that now brings us there, which is part of your, of your, of your branding. Do you understand? So when people search for you on Instagram, will you pop out or not? Answer, your, answer that question sincerely in your heart. Now, so also, when we land on your page, 
Hmm? We are finally set you. Maybe we found you somewhere, somewhere as we are doing, so we're strolling through the streets of Instagram or down the street of Instagram. We just found our, ourselves on your page, Bwah, like that. Will your bio tell us what you do or not? Or we read your bio and we start looking for Pastor Mo? Do you understand? Will your highlights, will it attract us to come in closer or not? Or we see your highlights and be like, waiting the apple for you and then we'll run away. Do you understand? So you need to check that. Then, when we finally enter, like we have entered enter the main, the main place, will your posts live up to what you told us in your bio or not? Your first nine posts especially. We lead, we lead correlates. Do you understand? When we finally enter your page and like, okay, let's see what, what he or she, let's see what he or she has got and all of that. And then we get there. We need to live up to everything that you've said in your bio. We need to live up to the logo that we have seen that attracted us. We need to live up to the name that you have optimized that landed us on your page. We need, we need to answer that question in your heart sincerely. Now, from your logo or display picture, your highlights, bio and post, everything has to be in synchronization. And tell us what your brand stands for on Instagram. Even before we take it further into your DM or tap on the link in your bio. That is if you have a call to action in your bio. Before we even answer you. Do you understand? From your logo, your display picture, your highlights, your bio, everything that is on your post. Are they in synchronization? Are they in harmony? Are they marrying each other? Do you understand what I'm saying? So... It needs to be in synchronization. That is branding. That is what we call branding. That is how you're making us feel. You're making us to sleep on your page. That is branding. Now, Instagram is a, like a very, very important application, right? It is very important because it offers a huge way for you to connect with potential clients, potential customers, if you can use it correctly right it's very very important it offers you a huge free way to connect with potential clients and customers if you can use it correctly so you need to make sure that you are doing everything right on instagram the tiniest of thing matters do you understand the tiniest of thing that you might feel it does not mean anything it actually does mean something so Having a branded Instagram simply means that you have a cohesive aesthetic in terms of colors, overall look, and feel, and graphics. Even your fonts. Do you understand? Having a branded Instagram means that all of these things are in, they are in agreement with each other. And when we come to your page, everything is not looking all mushy-mushy and all scattered together and all of that. So... To make your Instagram page look brand worthy, right? To make it look like gen, 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 that that gen, gen feeling, you need to do the following things that I'm going to be listing out for you guys now. Number one, take some time to look at your Instagram page. You yourself, sit down, go to your Instagram page and start looking at it like a customer. Look at it like you are not the owner of the page. You are a visitor. Do you understand? So take some time to look at your Instagram page and study it. Do you see a visual pattern? Is it appealing? What you are seeing? Does it look good and marvelous in your eyes? Do you understand? Or just a random collection of images, different, different, or quotes. Some of you eh, be posting quotes, quotes 24-7. What's it happen? What's it happen? Do you understand? So does it look appealing visually? Sorry, do do you see a visual pattern does it look appealing visually or just a random collection of images right if it looks appealing visually wow bravo you're doing well let me clap for you now if you have a random collection of images then you need to re-evaluate your instagram do you understand you need to re-evaluate your instagram now you may be wondering and be asking me why should you do that why should I reevaluate my Instagram? After all, they said we should post as we are. 
we should post as it comes to our mind. We should not procrastinate. We should just post as it's coming. Anything you start with what you have. Start with what you can do. These are what I have now. This is what I'll post. Anyway, I'm not gonna argue with you, but I'll just give you three reasons why you need to reevaluate your Instagram if um your feed looks like you just have a collection of random pictures, right? Number one reason. Your ideal client or your ideal customer wants to see content related to your business and not just quotes or things that are not related to your business. That is number one reason. Number two reason, you want your Instagram viewers or followers to know exactly what you do just by looking at your images, especially the first nine pictures. Number three. People will assume that the quality of your Instagram will match the quality of your work. So if you have a nice Instagram feed and your Instagram feed is looking all pink and all of that, they trust you that this one way thing they do. But if your Instagram feed looks like we don't be like about have if you go pay this one money last one. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. So that is it. Now that end point number one i said i was going to um tell you guys what to do to make your instagram look brand ready I said number one is take some time to look at your instagram page and study it so do you have a visually um, appealing pattern or you just have a random collection of pictures so if you have a random collection of pictures i gave you three reasons i just gave you three reasons why you should not um have your instagram pages like that so now i move to number two um Things to do if you want to have a brand worthy um, looking Instagram page. The number two thing you should do is that separate your business and your personal account. Like you cannot be giving yourself reason and excuses as to why your page is looking disorganized. Separate it, please. If you run your personal accounts, your personal everything, separate it, right? Separate it. Number three. Post all your personal stuffs in your stories. That is if you do want to separate. You are feeling like I beg. I cannot be running two pages on Instagram. I don't have the energy. There's no problem. Just make sure that post your personal stuff. Don't mess up your business. Except you're not using your Instagram for business. There's no problem. Post all your personal stuff in your stories. At least more of your personal stuff in your story. If you must post your personal stuff on your feed, let it be. At least the personal stuff is still relating to your business somehow, somehow. Do you understand? Number four, use your brand colors, your brand fonts. Today, use yellow. Tomorrow, use blue. Next tomorrow, use orange. What's happening? What's happening? Be consistent. Stay in one place. Do you understand? Today, use Times New Roman. Tomorrow, use Alio. Next tomorrow, you use which other, which other fonts do we have? Please stay in one place. Stay in one place. If you want to use Times New, Roma, Times New Roman, use. If you want to use Alio, use. If you want to use Allegra, use. Anything you like. But please stay in one place. Are we together? So that is that. Number five, develop a pattern to posting. Yes, develop a pattern to posting. Meaning, have a page layout if you can. Right? You need to do that. So um, you can choose a page layout that you want to follow. There are different types of um, page layouts. I'll just give you guys some. You can use square. We have the square. We have the tiles. We have the row by row. We have the line in the middle. We have the border. And then the mix. I'll show you guys how they look like. I'll show you guys how they look like. Um, I'll send you guys pictures to show you guys how they look like. Basically, the square um, layout is just like post one picture and um, post post a picture one square at a time, right? You know, Instagram um, Instagram has two types of um, feed post um, size, the square and the one that is a little bit um, long. If you want to be using square, use square. If you want to be using the 4x5, use 4x5. Don't come and today use square. Tomorrow use 4x5. No, don't do that. Stick to one, right? Then um, number two, tiles. The best way to do tiles is to alternate between one picture and a quote. 
like if you have a course that you that you maybe you like post for those of you that like posting quotes or the course might not even really be motivational quotes it might be a, a a written words describing your product so when you post one pro, when you post your product the next post will not be written words describing your products or a quote so when you do it like that alternating it like that you form a tells kind of layout another one is row by row so row by row is when you post a similar picture on one row you know on instagram you have three the first three second three third three like that so on that first three you post a similar picture the next row again you make it maybe for quotes or, or for description and uh, describing your post or, or for videos or similar picture again or whatever do you understand so that is how it's going to go or you use um one one row to talk about a particular product use another row to talk about a particular product do you understand so that is basically how row by row is so that there's a pattern to your posting the line in the middle eh, is when you have a is when you have quotes or maybe a white background picture or a very unique picture that stands out in the middle then your other post is on this on the left side and on the right side so that that me, that middle one will be directing people or guiding their eyes when they are when they are when they are scrolling and then your page looks a little bit more more fanciful and all of that then there is the border border is when you add a uniform color border to your to your pictures preferably white so when you when you you always put a border around your picture so that when you pose there's this space between your your pose so that it, it each each um, post is standing out and unique on its own right so and you can have a mix of one or two of all of these um of all of these and um, layouts so maybe today you can say this week i'm going to all the posts i'll post this week will be will be row by row next week i'll do line in the middle upper week i'll do border so that when people come to your feed and they are scrolling it looks like wow this is so nice do you understand so that is that for that now i want to tell you guys something if your feed looks messy like your feed looks like hey where do i start from this is what um if your feed looks mercy this is what you can do not messy as in m-e-r-c-y mercy as in looks disorganized this is what you can do number one use the same filter on all your pictures do you understand use the same if you like editing use the same filter on all your pictures number two keep it simple don't try to complicate issues, right? Keep it simple. Even with designs, keep it simple. Number three, have a clean and uniform background. If you want to use white background for your quotes, for your pictures, let it be white. If you want to use pink, let it be pink. Any color you decide, but have a clean and uniform background. It helps a lot. Um, number four, use white borders around your picture. That's what you want to explain for the border layout right all of your pictures just be putting border around you so that those that border will be separating your post and makes each one stand out number five use quotes to space your pictures i think i explained that already when i was explaining page layout number six use a clean and similar font don't be an asher of fonts today use some small reason no stay in one place Number seven, use similar smaller font size and center your text, right? So when you can write your text on a square like this, make the text to be in the middle and let it be tiny. Then that one will now be all, all of that kind of post will be in the middle. Then you have one post by the left side, normal post by the right side. So guys, um, that is that for, for this um, session on branding on instagram i hope that you enjoyed this session if you have questions feel free to ask your questions and then i'll let you guys know your um activity later i will be checking your pages and um you guys would go and check your pages rather check your pages and make all of the adjustments that you need to make and then i'll see you guys in the next i'll see you guys in the next session